Hello guys, I'm amazed to be making this video. I, I can't believe it's this easy to beat General Skywalker right now. And all it matters <laughs> is Zori and Rose Tico. Yes, you heard that right. The sea pit, food, the character no one wanted to farm, suddenly had a resurgence, and now you're going to be beating General Skywalker with some really low investment resistance. So the team is the following. Finn lead, Poe's in there, Zori's in there, and then honestly, it's Hero Finn. And then I use Rose Tico with the best success, but other resistance characters can work. Now, there's only really two conditions here. If you do not have a Relic Zori, or if you do not have decent relics on Finn and Poe to soak up General Anakin Skywalker's attacks, you are going to have to have a fast Hero Finn. My Hero Finn is 295 speed. He then gains 35 from Zori's unique, taking him to a lovely 330. In these squadron attempts, that was enough to outspeed Rex. But I have also done well when I haven't outsped him as well. So you, you don't have to go first, but if you do, it's going to make your life so much easier. The reason you're actually bringing Rose Tico here is one, they basic twice, which is kind of fun. Uh, secondly, if you have the Omicron, they're going to be giving you turn meter. They're going to be giving you offense gains. So you'll see in one of the battles here, we do win, but in the end, only three characters survive. If you have the Omicron on Rose Tico, there's no issue there. You will survive because you're going to have that increasing offense. Zori Omicron is also nice. I do have it. Obviously, this is Squad Arena, guys. You're not going to see Omicrons here, but the Omicron is going to be applying unresisted, unavoidable exposures, which is just going to speed up the entire process. Again, you're going to want decent relics on Finn and Poe. If you've done the Ray Farm, you're going to have them at Relic 5. Honestly, the higher the better, but as you see here, guys, you don't need them at high, high relics for this. Uh, with Zori, absolutely it can work at Gear 11. My Zori's three stars, Gear 11, and she's surviving. You can definitely see a difference. So this, this battle you're seeing right now is against a low gear gas, and it, it still works. And I think you could do this with, you know, Gear 10, Gear 11, maybe even Gear 12 on the rest of the characters. I, I think that the gear doesn't need to be at relics for this because you see it's a lot easier. But generally, it's just such a good counter. Uh, in, this, in this example, I actually used the Hero Poe. I liked him. But honestly, I didn't really think he was necessary. I, I honestly think that Rose Tico brings more to the table in this team than anyone else does because she has the shock, she has the daze, um, she has the health and protection recovery, she has the offense gain, she can also remove their turn meter. There's loads of fun stuff that Rose can do in this team. And honestly, that fifth spot is more of a utility. Uh, the nice thing with this team is uh, Finn and Poe are gonna be getting damage immunity constantly as soon as they go below 100% health and protection. And if that's dispelled by, uh, by Arc Trooper or by Echo, all that's gonna happen is whoever had that damage immunity is gonna regain all their protection. You're also getting so much turn meter, you get your prime exposes, you're gaining potency. As soon as you kill one enemy, all of a sudden, you gain 100% potency, so you're going to be landing on stuns. Uh, in terms of the strategy, you saw that every time with one, you make gas sit down with assists, you then come in and you stun Rex, and that's so important. As long as you stun Rex, honestly, the rest is pretty easy. You can also balance the exposures so you can get kills with the AoE on Finn. And yeah, like I said, it's really not that bad. In this example, Zuri died, and it was a little bit tight at the end, but you'll see where Royce Tico was kind of nice. You'll also see where if we had the Omicron, the offense we're gaining throughout the battle would have helped a lot in terms of dealing with gas at the end. In the end, it didn't really matter too much. We still won. And it's really thanks to the stuns and thanks to the exposes. If we had a Relic Zori, it wouldn't have been this close. Guys, you need to farm Zori. Guys. I, I honestly think Zori is one of the best characters in the game right now. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope you will have a glamming day.